Hello fellow minions of technology, my name is Tim Lee and welcome to Legacy Studio and tonight, today, whenever you watch this, I'm recording it at night, uh, we're going to go ahead and work on setting up some more stuff for when you are trying to do quick capture videos. Now one important thing to note here is that some of the stuff that I'm setting up here needs to be a permanent setup where you can come sit down and immediately record. So if you do talking head videos, if you do something in front of your computer, if you're a streamer, this is the kind of stuff that we need to talk about. And tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about, I keep saying tonight and I'm dating myself here. We're going to talk a little bit about Stream Deck. Now Stream Deck is a really awesome device. Uh, at this point in time, I think it's about 150 device. Let me go ahead and switch screens here and show you this. This is it right here, the Stream deck uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's made by Elgato uh, and it does a fantastic job in being a switcher. Now as you can see nothing is lit up here uh, and there's a main reason for that and that's because we're going to set some stuff up right now and in the next few videos and uh, going to cover how this is utilized to help you create these quick capture videos. Now as you can see here I got a few different things going on here. I have two different camera setups. This one right here. I have one right here to show the stream deck and then I were looking at my monitor that I'm looking at right up here, uh, right below the main camera. Uh, and you're looking at Streamlabs OBS, which is a free software that you can download to either stream or record, and I use it to record. And then right next to it is our Stream Deck program that comes with the Stream Deck to help you Bro, gram it. Makes kind of sense, right? So there's a couple things that I want to set up here to help us get started. Uh, I want to start by teaching you the basics of setting this up, um, and we're going to start by creating folders. And from there, uh, we're going to make a couple scenes so that I can select these scenes in this video and be able to switch to and from each one of these so that by the end of this video, uh, we will have all of our scenes set up and we will also have the ability to create folders so you can use these buttons in as many different ways as you want. This is an incredibly versatile uh, uh, keyboard, if you will, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's all LED uh, screens in the background here, so it makes for a very, very fun experience to set this up. You ready to get started? Let's give it a shot. So the first thing I want to do is figure out how to create um, uh, folders. And these folders, you can put folders within folders within folders. You can have 600 folders, however many you want, uh, and you can go as deep into this as you want, per se. You can either use all 15 buttons just for one thing, or you can set up folders for each individual program or video that you create to simplify your life one way or another. So let's go ahead and start with that. What we need to do first is we need to come over here, and as you can see, there's a few options, YouTube, XSplit, Twitter, Twitch, TP Stream, Tippy Stream, who knows, the system, Streamlabs OBS, Streamlab, Stream Deck, whatever. And you can see they're all in here. So if your program that you're using is either OBS or Streamlab OBS or uh, or XSplit, all of those functions are in here. You can program whatever you want through each one of those. But we're going to start by going to Stream Deck and hitting the drop down menu. There's a couple options here that we need. The first one is going to be our create folder option right here. Uh, and also there's switch profile, multi-action, timer, and brightness. A whole bunch of key functions, but creating folders are the simplest for me. So let's go ahead and start by creating a folder. And all we do is we click and drag it over to a box and you can see on our Streamlab uh, stream deck here, it's brought up a folder function and we can press it and it takes us into that folder and we can press it again to take us out of that folder. Now we can easily name this folder by clicking on it and then placing the name right in here for it. We're going to call this Legacy Studio, okay? Uh, you can change the placement of where it shows up and you can see it uh, in in the same time, does it right on the stream deck right there. We can just do this pull down menu right here. You can tell it to center the text, you can tell it to put it at the top, uh, and you can even change the text color. And if you want, you can even change the graphic that shows by hitting the drop down menu over here. and you you can set icon from file or create new icon, whatever you choose to do. It's very impressive, the functions that come with the Stream Deck. Now, uh, we've set up this folder. Now let's go into the folder. And in the folder, as you can see, it also changed it here. We can immediately start setting up other key functions. Now you can also do profiles, but like I said, folders is just something I'm just more used to. Uh, let's go ahead and close this out and start making different Streamlabs functions. Uh, now, if you've never worked with streaming software, it's incredibly versatile as well. Um, all of my cameras right now, the both cameras here are plugged in through graphics cards uh, or capture 
capture cards so that they can all run together. I don't have any uh, memory cards in these cameras. They are recording into the computer. The computer is capturing all that data. It makes it really easy. And if you have a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera, you can leave it on indefinitely. I can make a video that's four hours long with this camera where if I was trying to record with it, I may only get 15 or 20 minutes before the sensor burns out and it has to cool down. So the benefit of using this stuff means you can record indefinitely, which is wonderful. Uh, so now we've opened up the Streamlabs OBS menu here because I am using Streamlabs and we can create our first scene. All right, so what we can do is we can drag in a scene or multiple scenes. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's drag in, uh, let's see, I think I need to do five different scenes here. So we're gonna go ahead and drag in five different scenes. And you, can, and you can do these one at a time, or you can drag them all in. Whatever you choose to do for your time, I'm trying to quickly do this so you can see. Uh, we're going to select the first scene here. First scene is going to be our intro uh, image. So we're going to gonna go ahead and call this LS Intro. You can name it whatever you want. You can label it however you want. You can change where it sits or whatever like that in whatever way you want. I'm going to leave it at the bottom for right now. And you can see, like I said, does it in real time, which is really, really cool. Now we come here and you can see Collection Clear View by Nerd or Die. Well, that is a template that I'm using when I do live streaming and gaming. I do a little bit of gaming here and there when I when I get the chance and I have a Twitch account called The Worst Newbie Ever. Go ahead and follow me over on Twitch if you want to see any of the games that I do. Eh, they're rare and far, few and far between, but when I do, it's kind of funny. Uh, and you can come here and you can create the different collections in Streamlabs OBS. Now, since I do everything out of one, which is Clearview, Nerd or Die, I'm just going to keep that selected. But every time you create a new collection in Streamlabs, it will update on the uh, on the Streamlab, a uh, Stream Deck program, and you can find it on there. Next, come on down to Scene, and you got to find the scene that you want to control. I know that the one I want to control is the Face Only Cam Intro um, that I've already created. Now, if you want to learn more about how to set up scenes, let me know in the comments below, and we'll make a future video on that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and right away we should have the function. If I press this button, we should go to our main screen with the logo in front, okay? Now, the only way to get out of this is to click on another button, but I don't have any of them set up, so I'm gonna have to press my buttons over here on this menu. I just click these buttons to be able to get back here. It would be easier, instead of using my mouse, to just be able to hit a button. So let's make another button, shall we? The next one we're gonna do is our main camera button, which is this one right here. Uh, that I just want this to show, and the reason why I want this to show is I wanna transition, as I did in the beginning of this video, from this to this seamlessly. And that means we have to create another scene without the logo showing. So let's go ahead and do that function. Uh, and I, why don't you just mark it as a scene and turn it on or off? Well, here's what happens when you do that. It's harsh and it's blunt. Uh, there's no transition point out of it. It's just boom. And it doesn't look nearly as professional as like that, you see what I'm saying? So we gotta set up a different transition by doing it in a scene. So let's go ahead and go back into our scenes here. We're gonna go to the next option here on this one. This is the button I wanna program it for. We're gonna go ahead and call this uh, face only cam, okay? Call it whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can even change it so that when you press the button, there's a different name. Right here is the icon, and if you click on either of these buttons, it shows you a different icon. And if I hit, if I type, if I hit this button and then I type it in here, it will show up only on that screen. So I'll put this one as hi there, okay? And if you look here at this, if I push this, it's gonna disappear. I'll, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> I totally forgot to program it. Hang on a sec. Let me... <laughs> this is going to be a bad tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and go here and quickly program this. So it needs to be this one. So when I press it, it goes to the full screen just like that. There we go. Now, if I show you the Stream, Lab, the stream Deck here and I get it to focus, you can see it says, Hi there, right there, which is really, really cool. Uh, that's only there. Watch this. I'll go ahead and click this. Now it says, Face Only Cam. If I press it again... It says hi there. So you can program that to do whatever you want, which is a really nifty feature. Let's go ahead and go back to our all cam setting here so we can keep looking at this. So I don't want it to say hi there. I want it to say the same thing that the other one says. So I'm just going to zero that out and see if it stays that way. Hang on a second. Let's find out. It zeroed it out. So what we got to do is we have to type that back in there. 
So let me go back here to our all cams because I need to I need to set up the all cam button. And we're gonna come here and since we're we have it like this, I'm just gonna tell it to say face only cam same way as the other one so it stays the same label when I do that if you don't mess with this then it'll put it on both icons and you don't have to worry about it but if you mess with it then you're gonna have to hand type it into both icons as far as I can tell I haven't seen a function that switches it back but whatever all right let's go ahead and also program in an all cam button so we're just gonna go here and we're gonna call this all cam screen cap and we're going to set this one to be my screen capture. So if I hit this, uh, it should take us now directly to our screen only, just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and set up our last button here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call this one the Wacom Cap uh, because I have a drawing tablet that I make videos on. And that's a different screen, and I can set that up. So we'll go ahead and say Wacom Cap. And we're going to go ahead and select that button. And if I press it now, there we go. Now we're looking at my alternate screen on the left hand side. Uh, and as you can see, my face shows up on this because I have that set up in the sources for this scene. So now we have this, 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 that function, and that function. Now there's only one more thing that I need to do. I need to set up one more here. So we're going to go ahead and set up one final scene. And we're going to call this LS outro and I'm going to go ahead and select the LS outro or face only cam outro and uh, let's go back to our main face only here and we're going to say thank you so much for watching this video I do hope that you've learned something about this if you haven't checked out the stream deck it's really worth it whether you are a streamer or whether you are a youtuber who wants to make videos fast I'm teaching quick content if you will want to learn to make quick videos and quick content I got some cool stuff to show you and we're going to continue to do that so subscribe please hit the bell button so you get notifications YouTube requires that and I want you to see these videos when they come out every single Monday and Thursday so please by all means hit that bell button so you can see notifications when that happens uh, then also hit the like button share it with a friend uh, I'm excited for you to get started in quick capture stuff because sometimes some of the best content is just when you're sitting down and talking to a camera we'll see you guys next time and here's where this scene comes in handy God bless bye bye See, isn't that a nifty feature? That's a pretty cool feature. I like that.